Good afternoon. Storm Kira is battering the length and breadth of the UK, causing widespread travel disruption. Winds of up to 90 miles per hour are predicted to hit some areas. And there are more than 200 flood warnings in place, meaning immediate action is required, with one severe warning, meaning a danger to life, in place near Pateley Bridge in North Yorkshire. Well, the whole of the UK is under either a yellow or amber weather warning for wind, meaning more disruption to travel and power lines is likely. With more, here's our correspondent, Helena Wilkinson. This is Blackpool, one of the coastal areas bearing the brunt of Storm Kira. Severe gales and heavy rain are sweeping across the country, causing difficult and sometimes dangerous conditions. This is as close as I'm going to get behind the buildings, so it's up to everybody really, isn't it? They know their own limitations. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, I feel like the um, abominable snow woman in all this, but it's, it's amazing. It's just coming right over the promenade. Yes, you just don't get too close. You know, you, 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 you heed the warnings because you're there for a reason, yeah. you know. Aberystwyth in Wales is also being battered by the storm. Wales has been hit by the strongest wind so far. It's a similar picture in Dover. At the port, ferry services have been suspended as large waves make it impossible to travel. In West Yorkshire, sirens dating back to World War II warned of flooding, with rivers swelling like this one in Cumbria. Across the country, strong winds have uprooted trees. This was a near miss in Essex. The storm has also caused severe disruption on the railway network, with speed restrictions across much of the country. Airlines have also cancelled dozens of domestic and international flights. I've never seen an amber warning this large, which just goes to show how widespread the impacts are going to be due to Storm Kira as we go through today. But it's not just the winds, it's also heavy rain. We've seen in excess of 100 millimetres already. That amount of rain has made flooding inevitable and fire crews have been called out to rescue stranded motorists. But it's not all bad news. These wind surfers in Dorset seem to be making the most of the severe weather, which is forecast to last for the rest of the day. Helena Wilkinson, BBC News.